Okay, folks, today starts uh, 2016 honey harvest. We shall see. Um, I put all these supers on about two months ago, and I haven't looked back, so I have no idea what's inside. Um, and I don't know what to expect, because I have hives at home that I stacked up high, and they didn't put away a thing, and I've got hives at home that I barely added supers to, and they're honey-bound because of it. So, who knows? I don't expect much from little 23 over there. Um, should be adding, I'll add a deep to it, assuming they haven't already absconded because it was too small. Um, but I'm hoping to get, you know, at least 30 pounds off of each hive. Some of the tallow out here, we're about 30 minutes north of Houston, some of the tallow out here still has some blooms on it. So I don't know that it'll be fully capped. And I noticed some of the stuff I have at home back in Houston um, has the honey in it, but it hasn't been capped yet. So I might not really get my full harvest today. I might only get half of it, and then I'll have to do another one later. But I'm going to dig through the hives and see what I get here, and then stop at another out yard on the way home, and then get all my stuff that I have on the hives at home. And then we'll be extracting this afternoon. All right, we're done with these. You can see the Bee Quick did its thing. Bee Quick ran them out. Now they're all piled up on the front of the box there because they didn't like having that uh, cover on there with the Bee Quick. But I got about 30 pounds off of each of the big hive. And I got one five frame deep off of that taller five frame hive. So uh, 60, you know, maybe 75 pounds, something like that, 75, 80 pounds, something like that from here. So now we'll head to the next out yard and see what we got there and head home. Okay, so we got all the honey in. Um, I just got, you know, two and a half supers from out at the farm, I think. And then all of this all came from another out yard. Four of those supers were on just one hive. So the one hive had, you know, easy over 100 pounds of honey. So we're gonna extract it first because I've actually got to deal with that guy. Um, it's his out yard, so I'm gonna harvest his honey and we're harvesting on share. So I'll do his first and then, you know, get the extraction and everything cleaned out and then we'll split what he's got and then we'll do all of mine but you know you got at least 100 you know 150 pounds something sitting there and I don't I don't remember out of all of my boxes most of them are full maybe one or two of them has a one or two empty frames but we'll just see when it's all set and done we got everything set up so we got supers and then the uncapping tank and then of course the extractor drains out of the bottom of the extractor through my sieves the bottom one of course is a 200 um, 200 mesh and then we have the extractor bolted to this board. That's very important. If your extractor isn't bolted to the floor, if you don't have a honey house, bolt it to a board to help spread that weight. Because if you get um, out of balance frames, that thing will dance all over the place and they'll scuff up your floor. So uh, in the past, I've had it, you know, tear up the tarp because it was wiggling around. I've had it, you know, put rub marks on my deck. So now I bolt it to this wood just to get it up off the floor a little bit. And it kind of ties the legs together. It gives it a lot more stability. So anyway, we're going to get to uh, uncapping and spinning, and I'll give you a little report at the end how much we ended up with. Okay, so here's just our supers from the stuff that I harvested on shares. And again, we had five mediums and one deep. And up here, I got the buckets. I've got these set out so the bees can come rob them out because they're wet supers, so let the bees can clean it up. Um, and then we've got the buckets set up. I've already weighed out two of them. They're gross weights or... 61.2 and 62.2 you figure the bucket probably weighs about a pound and a half something like that um and we're actually got them set underneath the honey the uh, capping tank we're draining the capping tank into this third bucket and i think we're every bit going to fill that third bucket and if we don't fill it from the capping tank we got more here so this is all just from those five supers and that one deep it's going to be uh at least 180 pounds might be close to 200 pounds um, but I'll let you know here once I get it weighed out, and then we'll start on all of mine. So there's all of it for the uh, shared harvest. Uh, it came out to 218.6 pounds. So uh, you take out the tear weight of the buckets, you know, they're a pound and a half a piece, whatever. It's, you know, about 215 pounds of honey total. Um, I just split it uh, by eyeball. So those two buckets are completely full. There's a one pound difference. These two I split by eyeball. This one's about three pounds heavier. There's 46.2, 49. So I'm just going to give the other guy the, you know, the couple extra pounds. It's fine. I don't mind. Um, you know, I'm, I'm truly grateful for him giving me a good deal on letting the harvest on shares like this. So anyway, that's ready for that. I'm going to pop the lid back off of mine here and go ahead and fill it back up. And then we got to harvest all that. But first, I got to go to the store and buy buckets because I'm out of buckets. But this is evidence. So you know, proof. This is the even split. Anyway, we got work to do. 
You know, something I don't think I've mentioned before when I'm out here harvesting, but I keep a bowl of water and a towel right here on the chair because the whole time I'm working, I get honey all over my hands. And I'm constantly going in and out of the house for this or that or to get a drink or help with a kid or something like that. So I can't be getting honey all over the doorknob. So keep a little bowl here. Honey rinses right off, dry hand on towel. I'll just give you a little update where we're at. Uh, I've had to go around and get more buckets. I got seven more buckets, and I'll be darned. We might use them all. Um, but we're tearing down through it pretty good. These are all empty. Everything left there still has to be uncapped, and then that's all been uncapped and needs to be spun. But we've got, um, uh, we filled this one up already off of mine. That's all stuff from the share. This one here is my bottling bucket. It's about half full. I'm going to take it in the house and actually rub some fresh honey out for dinner for biscuits. Uh, and this one over here is actually full. They're pretty full, so we'll swap it out after dinner and we'll keep on going. Not done though. Well, that's it for the supers. I got them all emptied out. I haven't tallied up the honey flow or the honey total yet, but I got a little creative. Built the uh, leaning tower of supers there, if you will. It really doesn't resemble the leaning tower of Pisa at all, but. You know what the heck, I just like to stack them up to make sure there's plenty of surface area so the bees can all get in there and get in and out easy enough. And they're already working after them, so, you know, there's not a crazy cloud of them like you'd think, but it's, you know, sundown, so tomorrow the sun comes up and shining on this, it'll be a cloud out here. You won't really even be able to see through it, but they'll get them all cleaned up and then we'll stack them up for storage or we'll put them back on the hives as needed. Let me go weigh up the honey and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, well, the final total's in for what it's worth. It's not exact, but it's because I really just don't care that much. Um, just shy of 500 pounds is what it all came out to be. I've got some in the house, in the bottling bucket I'm going to start putting in jars. I feel like classes tomorrow, so i got to have some honey to sell for that. That's good timing. Got all this already sealed up here in these buckets and in that bucket. And this bucket's still catching drainage out of the... Um, cappings tanks so we'll let that stuff continue to drain and drip all night long and then we'll kind of close it up tomorrow and set it out for the bees to rob clean um, but yeah that worked out perfect all oh, the two buckets are underneath too those are full as well <laughs> there's just buckets everywhere I actually had it so I went to the store and I bought seven more buckets and I wasn't sure I was like oh I think I can get away with six I really need seven and I was like ah what the heck I'll just buy seven I'll bring it back nope <laughs> I'll bring that one back, too small. So yeah, all told, just shy of 500 pounds. That does include the portion that I got through um, the shared harvest uh, from that out yard. That was about 100, 110 pounds um, that I got from that deal. So, you know, still not bad. 500, you know, roughly four to 500 each year is about what I get. I wouldn't mind having more, but I'm happy with that. So glad I got it and looking forward to another great year of having honey in the pantry.